Hey, it's me, a Tins on the Tree, and welcome back to another Menudox tutorial. And today, as you can see on the screen, we got a question from Faryona Craft on the Menudox Discord that asked me how we went from the hex code to the RGB code. So I decided to make a tutorial on that. And before we start doing tutorial, uh, let's look at what we're gonna make today. So if we do node index.js, you can see we have the RGB value. You have the hex, then we go to the hex value, and then we're going back to the RGB value. This is what we're gonna make today. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is create two files. Uh, the first file is index.js, and the second file is functions.js once those files are created we can just open them in, our, in your favorite text editor I'm gonna be using PHP Storm but you can use Atom or Visual Studio Code or whatever you want so first off we need a color code to start with so what we're gonna do we can just you can just go to discord and say yeah I like this color so we're gonna take this RGB value and we're gonna store it in an array. So const RGB. And that's gonna be equal to an array of the colors. So, uh, next up, we're gonna lock these RGB colors to the console. So console.log. And we're gonna use string templating. I'm just and gonna say RGB in those curly brackets and we're gonna rgb dot join oh, on a comma and a space. So if we currently run this, you can see we already get the first output, which is rgb. And next up, we're gonna create a function to convert this rgb to hex. And the function to convert the rgb to hex, we're gonna write that in our functions.js. So we can just copy and paste that value over and over again. So in our functions.js file, we're gonna create a function and we're gonna call this one RGB two hex. And this one is going to take in a red, a green, and a blue. And a blue. So first off, we need to get the hex values of red, green, and blue. And for that, we're going to write another function. And I'm going to call this number to hex. And I'm going to say C. So next up, we're going to get the hex files from the number, which is the argument that we pass in to string 16. And after that, we're gonna return. So if hex dot length is equal to one, uh, we're gonna so if hex so if the hex value is equal to one, we're gonna append a zero to the hex value, and otherwise we're just gonna return the hex. going on oh. put a question mark here hex numbers for rgb strings should always be two characters if we have one hex character we're just gonna append zero to it so now what we can do is we can say const rep equals number to hex r and we can do the same thing for green and blue and then we're just gonna call this green and we're gonna call this blue next up we're gonna combine them to one hex value so const hex value equals red plus green plus blue and last but not least we're gonna return the pound sign with our hex value and after this, of course, we need to module dot 
exports and we're gonna say rgb to hex is equal rgb to hex so now we can require this in in our index.js function what's going on outside so what we're gonna do is const and we're gonna extract the rgb to hex function from require functions so what we can do now is say const hex equals rgb to hex I'm just gonna copy this from my other screen so I don't have to type that. And we're gonna console log hex, and that's gonna be our hex. So if we look at the file again, we see now we went from RGB to hexadecimal. But now we want from hex back to RGB, of course. And for that, we're going to create a function in our functions.js file. And we're going to call this function function. We're going to call this hex to RGB. And this takes hex parameter so first off we need to get the hex result captured and we're gonna store that in a variable so const result and we're just gonna copy this because this is a regex and this regex basically parses the hex string and we're gonna execute this regex on our hex if we have a result so if we have a result we're gonna do something here if we don't have a result we're gonna return false so if we have a result we're gonna return r i'm just gonna copy this which is we're gonna parse the int from our result, the first one, and, as you, and you know, normally arrays start at zero, that's true, but the zeroth index for regex is the entire thing. And we don't want that, we want only the three capture groups that are in here. So, and the first capture group is the red, and we're gonna parse in that with the radix of 16, just like we did the two string 16 over here. And we're gonna do the same for green, and blue and that will be two and three and of course we're gonna hex to rgb hex to rgb we're gonna export this and we can hex to rgb we can require this function in here and it's gonna say const from hex equals hex to rgb hex and we're gonna console log from hex and if we look at the file now you can see we have the exact same result as we expect we went from rgb to hexadecimal back again to rgb so if you like this video leave a like subscribe to menu docs if you haven't already and I'll see you again with another video somewhere in the future. Bye!